A stunning breakthrough in a high-profile missing persons case. For more than a decade, police have been searching for answers in the disappearance of a Georgia beauty queen. Finally, an arrest has been made. Tonight, we're learning how police tracked down the suspect. Here's ABC's Matt Gutman. She was a beloved high school teacher and an experienced beauty pageant contestant. 30-year-old Tara Grinstead vanished in 2005. Disappearance and unsolved mystery that consumed this small southern town and made headlines across the country. What happened to Tara? Tara Grinstead was beautiful on the outside and on the inside. She had won several beauty pageants. She was crowned Miss Tipton, reportedly last seen at a cookout with friends. Then she went missing. Her disappearance almost two weeks ago has galvanized this community. Her family desperate for answers, even creating this website to try to solicit tips. But the mysterious case went cold. Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming. And just this week, nearly 12 years later, a break in the case that has plagued this community for so long. I can say that this gentleman never came up on our radar through the investigation. It was Saturday, October 22nd, 2005. Tara had reportedly met up with friends at that cookout. Little did they know it would be the last time they'd see her alive. She was reported missing shortly after. The Osceola Police Department responded to her residence. Immediately, they suspected foul play. Her home was locked, her car in her driveway. Even her dog was left outside. Only her purse and keys were missing. Tara's home was searched extensively for several days, which produced little physical evidence. As with all missing person cases, the investigation started focusing on Tara's close friends and associates. Everybody was a suspect. Nobody was a suspect. The GBI and local police, Irwin County, worked like dogs on this case. Television host and former prosecutor Nancy Grace reported on this story, visiting Tara's family and home in Osceola, Georgia. When I went into Tara's home, the most eerie feeling came over me. To this day, I remember meeting with Tara's family and that sense of longing, that sense of really giving up hope they would ever find her alive, but just wanting answers. The community rallied together, holding vigils and wearing t-shirts with her picture. I cannot even express how my family and our friends, I mean, the outpouring of love for Tara. There's a picture of her when we were cheerleaders. That's her there. Maria Woods Harbor met Tara in high school. They became close friends. That's us on the way home from a, one of our beach trips. Tara was full of energy, full of hope. She had a lot of faith. She made herself a pageant girl, not because she wanted to be the prettiest girl, not because she wanted people to think she was beautiful. She wanted like scholarship money. Through these 11 plus years, the GBI and other law enforcement officers have received hundreds and hundreds of tips. Each and every tip that came in was vetted and checked against what we had already done in this investigation. Each lead was thoroughly exhausted. All those leads a dead end, and the case grew cold. But years later, Tara's story piques the interest of Atlanta filmmaker Payne Lindsay. After doing some digging, I found out this is actually the, the largest case file in the state of Georgia. So that in itself, and just the general mystery surrounding the whole thing, just drew me in. He decides to create a podcast called Up and Vanished to help generate new leads in her disappearance. This is Up and Vanished, the investigation of Tara Grinstead. I'm your host, Payne Lindsay. My first goal was to find out what happened to Tara Grinstead. My second goal was to find out who had nothing to do with this. I had bookmarked this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He worked alongside local Osceola reporter Dusty Vasey to gather whatever new clues they could. Now, this week, investigators reveal a shocking discovery. A few days ago, an individual came forward and reported that they had information in the terrorist disappearance. A tip leading to the arrest of this man, seen here in his first court appearance yesterday. 33-year-old Ryan Alexander Duke was a student at the school at which Tara taught. Graduating about three years before she disappeared, he had no prior criminal record, but now he's been charged with murder and concealing her death. He's also been charged with aggravated assault and burglary. Duke has not yet entered a plea. I need to appoint an attorney. They're going to interview him. If he doesn't talk, 
it, they really are sort of stuck with pulling his background apart and trying to figure out what are his movements because clearly for 12 years he's been able to hide this crime. Her family grateful that investigators never gave up on their beloved Tara. We always believed that it would be solved. We just did not know when. For us, this just starts another chapter in a very long and painful journey. We ask that you keep us in your prayers. Our wounds are deep and our hearts are broken. Investigators will not comment on whether Payne's podcast or news coverage directly led to this latest tip, but analysts say keeping the story in the news can help investigators. By regularly keeping a case in the public's eye, whether it be on television, radio, podcasts, social media, etc., you never know who's going to see it. Did you have anything to do with the death of your wife? I don't know that she's dead. The HBO docuseries The Jinx chronicled the life of accused murderer and real estate heir Robert Durst. It was the series that led investigators in Los Angeles to hone in on a key clue in the unsolved murder of Durst's friend, Susan Berman, who was found shot to death in her home almost 20 years ago. In Tara's case, the details of exactly what that tip was or who gave it still under wraps as the investigation continues. Usually a tip that's 12 years since the crime is going to be someone that either recently heard a piece of information about who was involved or they've known all along and just never shared the information because of their relationship maybe with the person of interest. As for Tara Grinstead's friends and family, they continue to honor her memory as the search for answers and her remains continues. Everybody says closure comes with this. I don't know if, if you have closure really after 11 years and four months of not knowing. For Nightline, I'm Matt Gutman in Los Angeles.